turns it on. We've also, we're trying different lighting so that you really, if it were to fill with smoke or anything, you would know exactly where to go. Right? Oh, it's the signage, right? The it's the signage, right. The signage has arrows. So further down, it'll say 200 feet with an arrow pointing. Okay. You know, this way. So it'll tell them there's one here. This is obviously an emergency exit. And we'll get the lights back on so you can see what it is. But all the way through, if we go down, if you actually go for a ride on the train, John, I think you'll see it. You'll see emergency exit signs with arrows that are pointing. Let's say both were to go out, or let's say this particular emergency exit would be full of smoke. This would emanate enough light to provide people a guide path out. And so if we turn off the lights to give you a sense of it, you can see they produce a fair amount of light. So if we were to walk up a flight of stairs, it's really obvious, hopefully, how you would get out. That's very bright. It's very, very bright. And well, I think in the event that we were to have an emergency and we needed to evacuate people, they would be evacuated in a clean environment, in a well-lit environment, in an environment where there would be a lot of signage giving them clear direction of how they should evacuate. And hopefully it would be done in a more coordinated manner as we've done lots of exercising with the emergency services departments about how we would coordinate such an evacuation.